to what is happening here. So this is very important step, especially when you're in the platform that is bigger than your tie, because usually you go with the platform that is as big or slightly bigger than your tie is, and then over uh, fabric just runs down and you have no problem with the water. But in this case, where we on the same platform, mm -hmm. we're putting, uh, it's just plywood, small thin pieces, we put it around and then we're gonna put another piece and then we're gonna seal it, seal like with special glue, Sika, all the way around so the water cannot or wind cannot enter in. So the water and everything goes out but nothing in. And then we're gonna on top of that we'll put the water protection also. Waterproof fabric. Waterproof fabric. But so this is one piece we're soon gonna put another piece, you will see that. Sure. And as you can see, on top of this small piece of wood, we are putting like this thicker board, higher board. It's gonna be all over to stop the water coming in. How is it going? Slowly but surely. So yes, so that gives us the solid protection. We're gonna put here now the Sika glue waterproof thing not the silicon silicon won't do anything especially when this is in oil it's, the the water will go eventually through the silicon so do not use silicon please and uh, so when we put this then we can even paint this on top later on and we will go with the fabric on top of all that so what's happened here happens here what happens inside stays inside if you know what i mean and that's it okay Simple. Oh. So, so the next step is to seal it off, but not with silicon, but something that Sika is making. Correct this a bit more here. It doesn't matter how it looks like because it will be covered anyway we can cover this gap here too this Sika is a little bit out of date we should vacuum a little bit oh. all this crap it will only add to the strength yeah. We are applying this sealant and nothing will go through it. And then we're gonna still paint it with like a rubber paint, water based rubber paint. And then you can turn it out of the stuff. That's it, finished. I don't have that anymore. I will show you what I use and I and this is the best to use. Come outside because it's messy. Never use any any silicone for any for for jobs like this, use something more professional. And the best stuff is this black here, which is made, oh, I see, I told you it's gonna be messy. Which is made for glazing. And uh, i show you what it is. Uh, but I don't have any more. So I will use this Sika Bond. This is adhesive for wood flooring. So it's very flexible. It's very sticky and surely the water will not go through it. I actually even repaired, I saved one very old... Uh, like 50 years old or more, 60 years old toilet. Toilet which was leaking. One of the plumbers came and just 
uh, he tried to do something and you cannot get parts he just dropped everything and left without even saying you know he's going and so the guy called me and said can you fix it can you save my toilet because you know it goes with the sink goes with the uh, bath uh, so if he will change this toilet he wouldn't look. match the interior yeah it won't match anything and it's quite modern looking now <laughs> so i managed to save toilet which means it's very waterproof and what is maybe one year or more and still works perfectly fine so what is this what we've got here made in italy sika flex what is it called no. i think it's called sika flex no look here Sika, this Sika is Sika Seal, Seal, Seal. WS605S. Sika Seal. And here you and, it's, and it also says, look, Weather Seal. See? Mm -hmm. So this is the best stuff. Um, I'm not bothered too much about it because it's going to be covered uh, by some fabric, so it's not going to be exposed to the sun. Uh, so we will use that because, like I said, yes, so is what is the name? 52 Sika Bond. Can you see? 50, Sika Bond 52 Parquet. Ah. So this is for typically for the wood flooring to stick down. And uh, it will do the job. Ah, and here says Sika Flex. This is Sika Flex. Yeah, it says here Sika Flex. But there are many, many, many different ones. But this black one is so what is any, called Sika what? Any, I forgot already. <coughs> Sika seal. Yes. Sika seal again. Sika seal W S dash six O five S weather seal. So hmm. that's the best stuff to use externally. You want to clean? Clean it up. Mm -hmm. So let's carry on with the joint. So you will see the change of the color. So, like I say, it will still do the job. There it goes. Now you have two colored ones. Yes. Both of best. The most important thing is that it's very sticky. And also it stays for a very long time flexible. Even when it gets cold, it's still flexible. Obviously less. So yes, when all this dries, be careful with the rest of it. We will paint. We will some apply some paint on top of it. And this is overdoing with the paint, but that's what I like to do. So But you also want to protect the wood somehow, no? Yes, but the wood will be covered, so there is no need really. But still will be better than nothing. And even here, because this is all moving parts here, what I will do is I first I clean it off. I do 
through here is I will make it like a bead. See on both sides. Like this and then we can seal the door here as well. Ooh. Not quite big enough. Let's do it twice. And then from the inside we're gonna put expanding foam. And I'm probably gonna put some piece of wood here as well, decorated piece, so it will be covered anyway. Otherwise, I'll make it slightly better job. But when I do ugly job like this, it makes me makes me do another correction, which will make nicer job afterwards. But the main thing is to seal it off from the penetration of the water. And then from inside I'll show you here we've got an even bigger gap. Don't worry about this. Look. If you go inside, find your head. You can see here. Uh -huh. This gap here. We're gonna put some foam mm -hmm. all the way around. Mm -hmm. And we'll put nice piece of wood as well. To cover the foam and uh, and on another side as well and that will all that will keep the door uh, that will keep the door nice and steady so they don't move because will be glued foamed and piece of wood attached to it mm. so it'll be nice and solid the rest can move but the door done will not move which are and then to protect another idea will show you to protect these beautiful paintings and the door because it's made what it's made you see it's not even painted here because that will take too much paint and work uh, so we will apply oil on top of it clear so that will protect from the water, it's not gonna dry, like you see, you can see here how this is dry, all this panel has moved. And uh, so yes, we will apply some oil on top to preserve all the paintings and wood, so it will last another at least 20 years. <laughs> and we're gonna put some lock to it. So if you would like to see all this, comment, let us know. What do you think about this? Is it a good idea, bad idea? If you would like to see these changes and when we apply it on top of the paint oil and what's gonna happen to it and so on. Hopefully that can help you too with your own yurta or future yurta. Okay, let's do some painting on top. And what are we doing here? Yeah, so this is the final step. What I told you before. So we're putting some little bit of masking tape. So the whole job will look more professional. After we did what we did. So you see, I'm going with the masking tape. And you are a roughly a little bit away from it. Yes, I mean, what? You are painting also the flooring. 
Yes, because you see all these joints here around it. I want to be away with the water as possible. So this is waterproof now. But to, and this is this is by the way this is like a water-based gum. That's what it is. It's not just a paint. Mm, okay, rubber. Yeah. So you see, and good thing about this that look, I can put quite a lot in these gaps. Just completely fill them up. You see and they will dry and they will not crack they will make this rubber for example this is good good example here you can see we have a we have here a joint joint but you know it's not a big deal we're not gonna have here this much water but you know it's a joint and we would like that to be sealed and i can push this paint right in if you look closely here on the top See, it's going all the way in, see? Yeah. And so it's gonna join this and it's flexible and, and it's gonna stay this way. So it's complete sealed border, now we do. Like so. Yeah, we can paint on the top as well. This could be once painted uh, before we applied, but as always, as usual, we never have time to, de to do this or do that. So we're doing it afterwards, but uh, if that will be installed, I will apply one coat anyway on top of it. And one coat is enough. And if you, if, if you come here now, be careful for the paint. For the beginning here, It's not, it's not dry yet, but then when we start peeling this off, like so, see, it's gonna be finished. Just, just do this bit here, just so you can see, it will be nicely finished, and uh, and you see the water will not go any further in. All this, all this fabric will be covered up anyway, so I don't think this will ever get uh, water. But still, even if it will be a big, big, big rain, it could, and that will stop. So we will never get any flooding inside. Yeah. So this is, this is how you can, this is how you can uh, do the yurta on the flat surface and still have no flooding and still have nice decking around and still have a nice decking around yes <laughs> lovely <laughs> uh, yes <laughs>